Because like he because he knows the matchup really well too. And well, like, he used to play like, Falcon. Yeah, exactly, right? Like he knows grabs honestly destroy Falcon. And like I uh, I have a trouble with getting grab a lot, honestly. Oh, oh Matt having a huge okay, yeah, big opening there. Yeah, I'm I'm Kirk. mating Marth, man. <laughs> honestly, yeah, that's the way to go. I need someone to teach my tricks to. No one's uh no one in Ottawa I can coach yet. Delirium. No, Delirium and I are too different. Matt and I are too different, man. I sent him the link to Upsword Off Smash. Has not watched it. Or, well, he hasn't learned it at least. Yeah, well, you only had like a 50% success rate when you tried it, so. I don't know, more like uh, 51. <laughs> okay. I hit it when it mattered, let's be honest. Wow, that hitbox was out for a long time. Yeah. Uh, Falco there is really good at covering that if you don't see spot. Or if you don't clip him. Falco can space around it. I think the big thing in this matchup, uh, obviously, you know, like, kind of getting, getting the. It's the same idea as like you want to get into Falco zone, right? Like you want to be that mid range where you can kind of dash dance and punish still, but Falco isn't close enough to like this aerial aerial right in front of your face. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, like there, for example, it's like he was still too he was a little too close, so he, his bearing him out of the air didn't work entirely. Uh, uh, one thing is like that you notice that sometimes. Oh, I think sometimes like Matt is uh, not entirely like uh, aware of some situations. Like he'll he'll stick to like his bread and butter stuff, you know, which is not fair. You know, it works Ooh, really well. That was custom combo. Yeah, like forward throw down tilt is obviously like makes sense, right? Forward but throw down uh, smash. Uh, yeah, actually, forward throw down smash is kind of new thing. Uh, or forward throw S smash, honestly, at yeah, ledge, like it's really strong. But sometimes you just have to be right to react uh, to What did uh, we just witness? DI. That was crazy. I, Michael just popped did off. Did you see actually. that? Yeah. I mean, see what that dare is actually busted. <laughs> that was like a, basically a two stock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Matt was up yep. a little bit there, but he couldn't close out the kill. Yeah, well, the mo momentum kind of changed when Michael started getting his game on. Like, you know, like, get your game on. Yu Gi Oh! No, I mean, so, uh, you see, like, Michael's kind of getting his punishes now, and his edge guards are actually really good against Mark. Like, yeah. he's practiced those a lot. Too, no, uh, I mean, I played against his Falco a couple weeks ago at your place mm -hmm. in this matchup. Uh, he wasn't lasering that time, so it was a bit different. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he knows how to edge guard, and he knows how to combo. Mm -hmm. And. Oh. That's pretty much it. I must forget they can kind of hear us, right? <laughs> Matt's doing a... Oh, I think that... That neutral is actually pretty good in this matchup. I want to kind of pay attention to what he does to deal with lasers, because Marth has a plethora of options. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just saw one right there, like, weight dash back is very strong, because Marth's uh, weight dash... Like, he crouches a lot, right? Like, he goes really low, and it's like, it goes so far that you can dodge a lot of moves. So, weight dash out of shield backwards and then you, a lot of times he, if Falco is like not too close enough or he's not overshooting you'll get an, a grab. Unfortunate little scenario there. Yeah. Probably wanted a down tilt. Yeah. But was off the stage. That's actually the worst. So he's opting to uh, do the shielding. Mm -hmm. His power shielding is really good too. Yeah he's he makes it work. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I never could learn that Matt's really good at. Like he, he does the uh you know he uses like the the positioning not positioning but like when you dash back as Mark, it's easier to power shield because the laser, laser goes like, oh, slightly above it's you. Not, what about forward? Forward, it, it hits you in the face. <laughs> so it's like, it's not that you can't power shield forward, it's just that it's harder because it's not as. Uh, it's your nose? It, you have to like basically time it almost nearly uh, perfectly. Okay. Where like, you, got, you basically have more room to time the, uh, the power shield, right? Because it's in your zone, technically, and the Mark you shield. Same thing with like when you crouch below laser and you power shield. Yeah, yeah, I knew that one. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, call him out on the double jump there. Really good. It's kind of, that's the definitely what you do when you're just like, just screaming in your head for them to just die. Yep. Like you've hit them so many times, <laughs> and you're just marked. Like, you just know, you know, you, you just want them it. to die. Like, yeah. you don't even, you're just begging for them to die. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this, this is one of the matches where, well, not one. Uh, him and, I guess the other characters too, like, shielding in this matchup is actually not that bad against lasers. Ideally, obviously, you want to crouch cancel the lasers. It's better. Oh my but god, you can this is sick. This is actually super sick. Oh. I don't... Is that how... Up. 
Ooh. I know Zane okay. does a. Oh, oh unfortunate. Might have been a controller. Dropped his wallet. Controller. Bugging out. <laughs> I know Zane does the crouching one as well. Yeah. yeah does yeah. he do the turn, the back dash one? I think so. I was, I assume so, just because. I mean, it's really important that you mix it into your movement because then it's more right. predictable. Okay. Yeah, the crouching one's like very telegraph, right? So like Falcon kind of react and just like not really approach. Well, you can also switch up your laser heights, make it hard. Yep, you can shoot for low lasers, but then sometimes like that, if you kind of condition the player to shoot low lasers, so then you start going approaching air to beat the low lasers. Mm. Yeah, Mars approaching air helps beat that those scenarios. I see. Uh, one thing you can also do too is like you get hit by a laser in the air, you just mash fair. Yeah, I see yeah. Zane do that. that uh, I, saw, I think I saw Matt trying for that a couple times, game one. Yep. And it is, I've tried it when, I, when I'm playing, and it's not easy. Oh, like, no. You have to ready. commit to it pretty hard. Yeah. And be in the air while you're getting lasered, and then they don't even have to approach, right? So it's yep. a pretty hard call out. Mm -hmm. But it is just, again, one of the options that Martha has yep. to deal with it. Yeah. The edge guards, man, just textbook stuff. Yeah. Matt's really so Oh, but he's edge guards, man. So that's textbook. textbook stuff. Matt's trying to mix up the timing for the, the up B, oh. but it's just, you put it the dare and then you die, it seems like. Oh, okay. Maybe he needs to ride the wall a little bit, try and get that yeah. SCI attack. Oh, Look a little, at that. A little unfortunate on the DI on the up throw. He didn't get the smash DI on the laser. He even mixed up yeah. Michael's timing there, but then. Well, the, the thing is, it actually works better for him because he with the yes, the down smash because you can't ASDI uh, Mars. Nah, uh, up B. I see. And, uh, sorry, you can't. Not that you can't ASDI. You can't couch, couch cancel Mars up B. So you want to ASDI it actually by doing an action. You know, like uh, KGH, he does a taunt thing. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Oh, that's actually unfortunate. I. Uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and blame Randall on that one. Yeah. yeah. I don't. This could be it. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Not this kind of spot. Yeah. He has no jump, I think. One big thing that Marco does really well, that's, I noticed, is uh, a bit of a rust set, but uh, one that, big thing that Mike, one really good thing that Marco does.